the Camacho Criollo in Torpedo. Hi, I'm Gavin Burcham with Twin Tobacco. Welcome to another fantastic cigar review. Today's cigar is another Camacho. We've done several so far on the channel. This one is the Criollo, which is, it's called the Criollo because the wrapper is a Criollo wrapper. It's spelled Criollo, but a double L makes a Y sound. I guess you could say it more in a Spanish way with like rolling your R's. Criollo, am I saying that right? Probably not. The cigar looks fantastic. It's got a very interesting tip. Most torpedoes come to a point, but this actually tapers dramatically and then it actually has a little cap on the end. So it's not your typical torpedo. The wrapper is a nice even dark brown. It's very, very smooth with a nice oil sheen. No tooth. Smells like a sweet earth, sweet barnyard, kind of sweet farm smell. Okay, so let's get this cut up and start smoking. Okay, off the first light, bold flavors. I'm getting like a musk, like a musky earth leather and earth, like a dark charcoal and earth oily finish. Very, very oily in my mouth right now. Great start, more bold than I thought, but maybe that will die down. Typically does off the first light. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep smoking. I'll get back in touch with you guys during the first third. Okay, so we are 14 minutes into this fantastic Camacho cigar. As you can see, it's burning very well. The burn is basically razor sharp. Ash is holding on so far in an inch. I'm gonna tap it off just because I don't want it to, it felt like it was gonna go, so I tapped it. Um, didn't want it to end up on my lap. Flavor-wise, this cigar is probably a medium to full, medium full body and flavor. I'm not getting any nicotine kick yet. We'll see later on how I feel. The flavors I'm getting primarily are sweet cedar with a wood and then a coffee and dusty mouth feel finish. It's very much a coffee, like a dark, dark roast coffee and a dusty mouth feel. Sometimes it's a little bit oily but sometimes it's super, super dusty. So I would say it's mostly been a dusty mouthfeel. That sounds like a really weird thing to say, but if you've smoked cigars, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. But if you've never smoked a cigar, people are probably like, what is, what's a dusty mouthfeel? It's an interesting sensation in your mouth that for whatever reason, to me, it just sounds like a dusty mouthfeel. There's oil slick, there's a dry mouthfeel, there's a dusty mouthfeel. And then there's peppery, like spicy, you know, mouthfeels as well. So fantastic cigar so far. I'm gonna keep smoking and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the second third. Okay, 35 minutes in to the Camacho Criollo. I gotta say, this cigar is amazing. The draw has been perfect throughout the smoke so far. The flavors have transitioned slightly, but are a little bit similar. Still getting a lot of sweetness and cedar, but now I'm getting more toast and darker notes of coffee and charcoal and a little bit of pepper and an oily mouthfeel on the finish. Very delicious flavors. I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed and I'm already considering buying more of these in the future. I gotta say the mouth feel like the cigar in my mouth is very comfortable. It's got like a little bit of give, just a little bit of give. So it's very easy to, to actually clench on that tapered foot. I'm enjoying it. This is a terrific smoke for midday, you know, smoking. The Criollo wrapper has been used in cigars all the way back when Christopher Columbus first discovered 
to the natives in tobacco and brought it back to the West. It means native seed and it's a generally slightly milder form of like a Criojo wrapper. So there's the Camacho Criojo and then there's the Criollo. And this is again slightly milder in strength than uh, typically found in Criojo wrappers. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna keep smoking and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the final third. Okay, one hour, 22 minutes in to this cigar. As you can see, it's down to the nub. The flavors transitioned quite a bit in this last third. I was primarily getting a dark cherry or black cherry and burnt wood with some pepper. And then the second half of the last third, I started getting some more nut. Final thoughts. So this cigar got a 92 rating and I think it's very much deserved. This is a full bodied smoke for the majority of the stick. The first third was medium to full bodied. So a lot of flavor with a low amount of nicotine. So that's great for people who are new to full bodied cigars or they just don't like high strength cigars. I highly recommend this cigar. If you can find them, they're reasonably priced and the flavors are great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cigar review as much as I did. Please check out our other cigar review videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on smoking people.